try and force me into a war, Trevor. What's in it for you? Yeah. This truce that you broke it with Sonny. It does nothing but give him more time to plan your murder. Sweet. Trevor's worried about you. For God's sake, John. The only way that you can stay alive is a preemptive strike. Kill Sonny! Or he's gonna kill you. <sighs> Sonny could have killed me when he had the chance. Not that I enjoyed being locked up, beaten, and starved, but if you wanted me dead, I'd already be that way. So your warning? Kind of pointless. Yeah. Hello, gorgeous. Where are you? I'm right where you want me. Any sign of a friend? Corinto should arrive within the hour. Call me when it's done. Will do. I don't lose sight of the big picture. Unless you go out to Sonny, he's going to take it as a sign of weakness. I think Trevor's got his own agenda. It smells like self-preservation. <laughs> Uh, Claude, there's only one person in this room with an agenda, and that is you. You are hot for my brother to kill Sonny before Sonny can kill you. Now that you own the Alcazar peers, you figure Sonny's going to try to take you out. Makes sense to me. That would be my plan. One way out, Trevor. Sell me the peers. I'll be happy to relieve you of that responsibility. <laughs> Unless you really want to talk business. Talk is cheap. You know, you better have a plan. Because if you do nothing... You're dead. John. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. Sonny will be dead in an hour. Mm -hmm. It won't be traced back to us. No, John, it's going to look exactly like what it is, a third-party hit. And we'll be mortified that such a thing could happen when we all just declare peace. But we need airtight alibis. Something even Jason Morgan's going to have to buy. Okay, I'm going to meet with Luke Spencer about the Haunted Star budget. I'm not sure that's a great idea. Luke and Sonny are great friends. They're old friends. It's the perfect person for me to be sitting with when Sonny dies. Yeah, unless Luke figures out that you're using him. This is risky, Johnny. Taking Sonny out is a huge risk. You need to keep your hands clean. That bitch. Which one? Possibilities are endless. Maxie Jones. She may be the one thing that I hate more than the fashion business. Are you any good at math? I have to get these receipts in order. Get your new business partner. Provide creative accounting. He isn't here, honey. I hate that Maxie always has to win. No, wait, Maxie always has to beat me. Well, that's kind of a half-assed compliment when you think about it. Kate Howard is throwing this big party to launch her new magazine. It's called Crimson. So, big shock, the whole thing's going to be done in red. Actually, more specifically, it's going to be done in crimson because there's about a thousand different shades of red. Not that anybody cares except for Kate. So Maxie and I have had our 50th meeting with this woman, Hermione, who's really strange, but apparently the best party planner in Port Charles. And you know, I think that my taste is almost as good as Maxie's, if not even better. And my people skills... Second to none. So when I'm about to do something that is a little bit fun, I get dumped on. I mean, how many copies of a budget am I supposed to collate while Maxie gets to do fabric swatches? I think I have a fix for you. Yeah, well, I don't have anything to blackmail Maxie with, Dad. Quit. No, you don't get it, because if, if I quit, then Maxie would win. No, Maxie only wins if you care. See, the trick is not to care and extricate yourself from the situation. No, I, no, I, I, no, no, I don't, I don't think that you've been listening to me. Maxie is a skank. Okay, and and anything that Maxie can do, I can do a thousand times better, and I'm just, I'm going to, you know, have to prove it, whatever. Well, here, here, go for it. I love a woman on a mission. So, how are things with your new investor? Has uh, he been by to inspect the property? <laughs> mm. So, <laughs> we finally get to the point. Let's don't pretend anymore that you came here for any other reason than you hoped Johnny might show up. Luke Spencer is dangerous. He is smart.
Johnny, and he knows all the players. Okay, but he's not psychic. There's no way he's going to trace this hit back to me, especially since I don't know any of the details. Well, just think of it this way. The less you know, the easier it is to have deniability. I don't like you taking all the risk. I can handle it, John. You just need to watch back with Luke Spencer. Okay? That's all I'm saying. And I wish that, you know, you might think about finding a girlfriend who had a father you could intimidate. All I've done is make sure Louie knows where to find me if that's what she decides she wants. Look at you. How could she resist? I won't pursue her. But I won't turn my back on her if she comes my way. And I won't be intimidated by Luke. You're calm. I'm not going to argue with you over girls. Where are you going? To find my own alibi. Well, uh, you're in trouble, Dad. See, there's all this money going out and none coming in, so that's just bad business. Nice junior accountant. Adroit avoidance tactic. Am I about to get advice? Because I thought it was uh, rule number one of the Luke Spencer parenting plan to pay no attention to my love life. None paid, sweetheart. Oh. I'm not going to tell you what to do and who to do it with. I'm sure you've got plenty of voices in your own head yammering on and on about the pros and cons of Johnny Zakara. I'm just saying there are plenty of people in the world who will lie to you. So why put yourself on that list? I'm not lying to myself. Why would you say that? Well, let's see. You're awfully defensive. You think you doth protest too much. <laughs> and whenever the, added, the thing comes up, you, you, you throw around a lot of attitude and you go out of your way to run into this guy. Oh, that, no, that's, that is not true. It's okay, Cupcake. You wouldn't be the first Spencer to be ruled by your hormones. I'm just wondering why you don't have more guts. Guts? Now you're calling me a coward. I'm saying face what you feel and deal with it. looking for my dad. He's not here. I asked him to leave. Why? <laughs> because I wanted to talk with you alone and tell you what you're doing really sucks. What am I doing? Come on, Johnny. I told you I didn't want to be with you and now look what's happened. You said that you accepted it, you acted like you got it, and you respected my decision. You were supposed to walk away. I did. Yeah? Except you keep popping up in my life everywhere. Like at Carly's? Why would you ever go there? And, and buying into my dad's business? God, Johnny, how transparent is that? If you want me back, have the guts to admit it, and don't put it all on me. It is on you. You want me, but you're too damn ashamed to admit it. You've been doing this from the first night that we met. Changing your mind back and forth. One minute you're with me, and the next minute you're telling me to get out That's of your life. That's because one minute you're a sweet piano playing guy, and the next minute you're some gun-toting whack job. Oh, so you'd rather I lie to you, pretend to be somebody I'm not? No, no, I am sick of it. I am sick of not knowing how to feel about you, of, of not wanting to think about you when that's all that I do, and promising myself that I'm not going to see you anymore when you keep popping up in my life. Then why the hell you keep getting in my face and judging me? You think you know me? Get over you don't know a damn thing about over. me. You think you are so damn mysterious, but I see right through you. You want me to chase you. You're jerking me around on purpose. All right. So it's my it fault. It is your then fault. Then forget about us. I want to. I want to forget about you, but you won't let me. So 